Cancer, welcome to your channel of reading. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. What's up? What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Cancer. We are much improved from last week. Thank you very much. Oh, the abrace is off and the migraine stopped. Yes. Oh my goodness, let me tell you. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Cancer. What's going on, please? Let's just move that guy. Okay. What's going on, please? I like things to be just so. It's not OCD. It's standards. Which is how I pretty much approach every single major relationship. <laughs> it's not OCD. It's standards. <laughs> What's going on, please? What's going on, please? If you're new to my channel, welcome. Like, share, maybe subscribe. I appreciate you. And that's if you can understand the fact that I am a real person who does real terror. I also have a real sense of humor, for better or worse. I also swear and I express strong opinions. Welcome. For those of you who have been around, thank you. What's going on, please? What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see, please, for cancer. What's going on for cancer, please? What's up? What's okay? <sighs> oh, 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 oh. Something just, gosh, dang it. There's a truth here. Oh, oh, honey. Oh, it's just exhausting looking at it. Ace of Swords, emotional withdrawal, conflict and defeat. You learned something that changed the way you felt. There's a truth here. It's recognized, it's been recognized, and it's like a sear across your brain. It's like you can't unknow something. And by knowing that thing, whatever that is, could be in love, God knows. It changed your emotions. It changed your emotionality. You go through a place of withdrawal. Intended. Emotional withdrawals are often meant to serve as a safety precaution until we can figure our shit out, right? We just don't want to stay there. That's when we get in trouble. But uh, it feels defeating. It feels difficult. There's a heaviness and emotional acceptance in something that we're finding hard to digest. A difficult truth. Particularly where our emotions are concerned. Something's changed. Feelings have changed. You know, we thought we loved this person, we don't anymore, or you discovered you did love somebody. Mm. We'll see what's going on. The other way around. Always reverse energies as it applies. Always, always, always. I say you because it's default you're reading, but you know who's best is best in this situation or scenario. So, take what resonates. Leave it does not. If it's not your story, don't force it to fit. Why would you? Sometimes it's a good thing when they resonate. Sometimes, not so much. Okay? So, if it does not resonate with you at all, please know that's perfectly normal. In which case, check your other placements. I'll catch you on the next reading. Speaking of which, next week is Intimate Tarot. And then the week after that, Singles and Curious. Bonus readings for everybody. Okay? Um, yeah. Let's see what's going on. Let's take a look. What's going on for Cancer, please? What's going on for Cancer, please? Show me Cancer. Bridge. Ten of Pentacles. Could be. Foundation. Something's changed, possibly. What's going on, please? No. I'm not going to sit here all day and do bridges. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Sometimes it's a little preview. It's like, just put it on the baseline, baby. That's what it's for. What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see, please, for Cancer. Show me what I need to see, please, for Cancer. What's going on? Show me that recent past. Show me that recent past, please. If you're new to my channel, just to let you know, every tarot is different. I prefer it when the cards fully flip out or hit the table. Like so. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, well, there you go. That's the name of this particular game. <sighs> okay. All right. Something would not mend. It will not mend. It will not mend. Or at least it felt that way. Feelings of abandonment. Feelings have changed. Disruption of households. Possibly financial loss. I don't know. How recent this is is up to you. It just did not feel good. And you were largely disconnected from it. Your feelings changed. Your feelings changed. We had to learn something the hard way. Disconnected from the self. 
the feelings, also the physical world. What's currently going on, please? What's currently going on? Queen of Swords. Toughened up to protect ourselves, possibly. Okay, keep our emotions out of it. Could be you, could be someone else I'm describing. Show me Cancer's independent energy, please. Being guarded, cautious. Trying to keep the communication open. All right. Trying to keep that communication open, it's not easy. We're guarded. Guarded. Safety, caution, safety, caution, safety, caution. Trying to keep it open. Let me know if you're connecting with the King of Pentacles. <sighs> you might have some earth in your chart. Um, caution. 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 Curiosity. Some communication. Caution. All right. Show me the person surrounding. 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 Uh-huh. Show me the person surrounding, please. Cancer. Oh, my. Oh, that's just so much to be getting on with. The Wheel of Fortune, the Empress, Dual Card of Taurus, Libra, Six of Cups, someone whom you know. Possibly someone who walked away. We need to narrow that down. Who is the person surrounding Cancer, please? Focus. Show me their energy, their concentration. We don't know if they moved on or not. Well, that's confusing. They don't know if they've moved on? Two of swords over six of swords. Okay. They don't know if they've moved on. You don't know if they've moved on. Perception is not fact. As far as I can tell, this is a cancer who's perceiving this person, so you may not know entirely, hence the confusion. Or they themselves are confused about whether or not they've moved on. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Show me the future, please. Well, this is quite the pickle. Show me the future, please. No. Show me the future, please. Show me the future, please, for this cancer and their connection. Show me the future, please, for this cancer and their connection. Show me the future, please. Still not fully embracing of the truth. Narrow it down. Show me the future. Okay. Three of Pentacles. Starting over. What's in front of that Three of Pentacles, please? What's in front of that Three of Pentacles, please? God dang it. It's all over the place. Show me that. What's in front of the Three of Pentacles, please? Ten of Wands. What's in front of that Ten of Wands? Three of Swords. Honey, if this person's too difficult to keep in your life, then don't. That's I'm already this close to scrapping the whole fucking thing. Because if you're carrying somebody's energy unnecessarily for what for the sake of a friendship it's not really a friend is it if it's a burden to see them and if it causes you pain then drop the fucking pretext you don't need them it's not worth it a friend is a friend and if that friend causes you pain then it cannot be worth it If they're giving you mixed signals about whether or not they've moved on, it's a no. If you've been around my channel, you've heard me say it a thousand fucking times. Mixed signals mean no. If they don't know what they want, it means no. If they say no, it means no. And if they say yes and their behaviors don't match their words, then that's a mixed signal that means no. I just see you having more pain. You're being guarded. Like, I'm trying to figure out if I should give this person a second chance or if I should allow them into my life. The answer is no. It is nothing but grief across this board. And I, your advice, keep an eye on the situation and keep yourself distant from it. Just, just keep yourself distant from it. Page of Swords, don't contribute anything. In fact, don't even look back. It's, if it's too much of a pain in the ass, then it is. No friendship is worth that. The Three of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, it overall is an Ace of Wands. You want something new, then go after new. But I don't know what you're carrying around this dead weight for. Because you still haven't fully come to terms with the truth of it. That's it. You know, I'm this close. And where are we? I'm ten minutes in. I'm this close. Dude, no pain is worth it. 
No friendship is worth it. How can they, how much of a friend can they be if they're causing you this much pain and grief? I'm telling you that some of you simply have yet to digest the full truth of this. Ace of Swords here twice. I don't know what happened here. If it was a breakup, a betrayal, I don't know. The point is, is that things are not going back to the way they were. And um, the way they were don't look so great either. I, I just, I don't see the point. I really don't, but that's up to you. All I see is that you are in pain right now. You haven't fully digested it. It seems like you're trying to show some sort of um, forgiving energy, caring energy towards this person that you're not even sure if they've left or if they're even interested anymore. So let's let's take a look. Your overall is the Ace of Wands, and I'm assuming that's the renewal of hope as opposed to a new adventure in love or in passion. You must remember the Ace of Wands, you can rekindle a flame, just like, you know, I can switch that out and put a new candle on, okay? It's the renewal of the flame. For some of you, you want that renewal of flame with your person, and it's not there, okay? And, uh, it, it, I don't want to lecture you, I fucking hate that. You know what I hate, man? When I watch tarot readers and they're just judging, they're telling you what's up, what's up, what's up. Well, clearly... They're either very perfect, and they're not a human being, or they think that's what tarot is, and it's not. Real tarot reflects real life. The only reason I'm getting upset for you is because I'm upset for you. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. Carrying around somebody's energy to the point of pain, and for what? So that you can have a renewal of hope with them? No means no, and mixed signals mean no. This is why we get to singles and readings just for you, I swear to God. You and, um, oh, well, let's just put it this way. You need a singles and reading, uh, singles and curious reading, seriously. Show me that five of pentacles in the recent past. I don't care for this, Cancer. I do not care for this. Show me the five of pentacles, please. The emperor, proud, stubborn. What about, I have no feelings. I have no secret passion. I have no secret feelings here. That's what we keep telling ourselves over and over again. I don't have those feelings. I don't have those feelings. I don't have those feelings. I don't have that. I don't have those feelings for this person. You might have some Pisces and or Aries in your chart. You could be dealing with one. Irrelevant. The point is, somebody kept telling themselves over and over again, I don't have those feelings. I don't have those feelings. I don't have an Ace of Wands. I don't have an Ace of Wands. I don't have an Ace of Wands. And that was buried way the fuck down. Normally, I wouldn't give, give that much credit, even with the moon here, because honestly, it doesn't take much to do moon work. It really doesn't. It really fucking does it. People think, oh, it's the moon energy. It's so hard. No, it's really not. Actually, it's incredibly easy to go dive into the ocean. What makes it difficult is when we have something here about this, this the Emperor energy that completely denies the whole fucking thing and denies it with some strength and assertiveness. Somebody's unwilling to look at their emotions. I don't have any Ace of Wands here. I don't have Ace of Wands here. I don't have an Ace of Wands here. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have any hope for this situation. I'm completely, 100% disconnected from this experience. I don't. I'm the Emperor. I say what's up. Unfortunately, they're saying what's up with the moon energy. Not good. Like I said, it's very easy to do moon energy work. It really is. People think it's a lot harder than it is. It really isn't. We only make it as hard as we are willing ourselves to. And this person, whoever this is, be it you or them, is willing themselves to really, truly, genuinely believe they have no feeling or passion for this situation. And it's with some insistence as well. Unfortunately, I'm calling bullshit on that person because the moon's there. You know, show me that Queen of Swords is the current Nine of Swords anxiety, leaving our feelings out of it, but a lot of mental anxiety here. Seven of Pentacles, leaving it alone, stagnation, obsessed about an offer. Somebody's obsessed about an offer. You keep thinking about that Ace of Pentacles. You keep thinking about that Ace of Pentacles. We keep thinking about it. We keep thinking about it. We keep thinking about what could have been, could have been grown, what I could have experienced, what I could have experienced, what I could have experienced over and over again. I keep hearing this. And this is what I could have experienced. 
and we think about it constantly, 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 and now we're, we're trying to remain emotionally detached, but we're in our head constantly about the Seven of Pentacles. We do have the investments that we do have in love and life, work, whatever, I don't care. And the point is, it's like, that's what keeps us preoccupied. We try to leave our feelings out of it, but it rolls up on us, on our thoughts. It rolls up on us, on our thoughts. It could be you, it could be them, I do not know, but somebody has a great deal of mental anxiety of what they currently have versus what they could have had, and it's what that could have had that really fucks with that person. Um, it's, it's what they could have had that really fucks with this person. And so we tell ourselves over and over again, I had no, I don't have any feelings about that situation in the first fucking place. Why am I even thinking about it? You know what? I'm not. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Some of this page of wands to the seven of wands, please. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. Defensive, 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 defensive. Justice. Keep it fair. Keep it light. Keep it fair. Keep it light. Do not tip the scales. Seven of Cups. This person is not an option in love. I refuse to think about that. I refuse to think about that. I refuse to think of this person as an option in love. Also, heavy fantasy aspects to this. We fantasize about this person. We try to guard off those thoughts. Keep it fair. Keep it light. Keep it fair. Keep it light. This is a cold decision on somebody's part to leave their feelings out of it. Specifically, it's under your energy. Um, I don't have options in love. I cut that shit out. Nope. 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 Keep it fair. I'm keeping things fair and balanced. Fair and balanced. I do not see this person this way. I do not see this person in that way. I do not see this person in that way. No. I leave my feelings out of it. Them. Two of swords to the six of swords. Uh, confusion. Have they moved on or not? Have they moved on or not? You are very much trying to leave your feelings out of it to not get your hopes up. You can't help but think about what could have been. Um, because you had the opportunity, there was an opportunity here, man, but it was not taken. And so somebody's like, well, you know what? I, I, did, I wasn't about that life anyway. I wasn't about that life anyway. I had no feelings. I had no passion for that person. Mm, show me this two of swords over the six of swords. Why is there confusion here about having moved on? Why? Ten of pentacles. What about it? Nine of pentacles. Page of pentacles. That's a lot of uh, pentacles here. Moving on in confusion. Okay. All right. All right. Somebody's energy is not free. That's it. Somebody's energy is not free. Somebody's in a commitment, but... Um, that's it. So that's why we're so very hard and critical here. You know? Somebody else is in a commitment. One, possibly both of you. Don't know. Are they, why, why are they staying in that relationship? Something like that. There's a question here. Why are they staying in that relationship? It does not serve them. It's no good. It's not strong. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. It's not strong if they would just free themselves up. That kind of thing. There's some confusion here about whether somebody's staying or going. Okay, somebody here is not free. Okay, to move forward. Yet they are moving forward in their own life. It's just not clear. There's some confusion here. Okay, so that would explain the almost entire bottom line. All right, this is why I don't do judgment. Frustration, absolutely. Anger? Oh, yeah. I don't do judgment. There is confusion here. Why does the person stay? Why don't they just go? Their foundation's not so founded. It's upside down. If they would just free themselves up. Are they trying to free themselves? That would explain it. So... There's that insistence, and it's looking like on your energy. Uh, I don't feel anything about this person. I don't. I don't. 
I don't, I, I'm not thinking about what might have been. Not my problem. Um, I will not fantasize about this. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Okay. Um, why don't they just leave? Something like that. I don't know. Have they moved on from you? Have you moved on from them? Why don't they just free themselves? If they're so unhappy and so upside down, are they really moving on? Are they moving on without me? There's a lot of confusion here. Like, a lot. Okay. Why don't they just fucking leave? If they're so unhappy. If their foundation's upside down. If it's not fruitful, it's not productive, and it's not solid. Why don't they just leave? Why don't they free themselves? What do they want? You know? Um... So, that would explain the very strong, strong-willed opening. I refuse to acknowledge that um, there's an Ace of Wands here. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't think about this person. I won't humor those thoughts. I won't divulge in the fantasy, right? Okay. The bottom line, Three of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Ten of Wands. Not great. But, let's see if we can see some sort of resolution. All right. The advice is Page of Swords. It could mean so many things. So many things. I'm sorry, it's so muddy. That's why I typically don't read more than two energies. It can get very muddy very quickly. I can't really tell which way the energy direction is going. So it might be that you're both in commitments and you both have similar questions about whether or not it's over, whether or not it will ever move forward. Why don't they just leave if they're so unhappy? You know. If the household really isn't that stable, or they're so unsure of their own emotions, why do they stay? Well, you know, show me that Three of Pentacles, please. Show me that Three of Pentacles, please, in the future for Cancer. Show me. Oh, this is why we need singles and curious readings right here. The energetic entanglement, emotional entanglement, is very real. Mm, Queen of Cups, upside down. Some of you feel like the timing's not right, and it never will be. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Somebody's jealous. That's coming across really fucking strongly. Somebody's so jealous. Somebody's painfully jealous. Eight of Wands, what are we communicating, please? What are we communicating, please? Like, uh, where's that envy stemming from? Where's that envy stemming from? Confidence. Confidence. Somebody envies the other person's confidence. The communication aspect, the ability to put themselves out there, somebody's very, very jealous of that. Wands blocking. We're still blocking. We're still blocking. Somebody's still denying that they're in a ten of wands situation. There you are. Blocking forward momentum, forward movement. Queen of wands. Heavy fire energy here. Let me know if you're connecting to Aries Leo side. Heavy fire energy here. We're still blocking the truth. So this th okay. Three of swords. Oh, for fuck's sake. We know that if we took action towards the love, the Ace of Wands, it would be a Three Swords type situation. In other words, third party. This is where, energetically speaking, we wish to go. Let me know, you could be wanting to connect with Scorpio, it doesn't have to be. Um, but if we were to take action towards our heart space, the Ace of Wands, it would be a third party type situation. Okay. Um, but somebody still isn't ready to admit that their burdens are exactly that. There's a burden. Somebody envies the other person's life and their ability to just speak and act freely. Um, somebody's so covetous of somebody else's time. That's so odd. Somebody covets the other person's time, like your time is mine. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? 
all the time with that. Where are you? What are you doing? Checking in, checking in, checking in, checking in. I have to check in with you to feel secure. I have to check in with you. This person's so fucking insecure, man. Like I, I uh, the text messages constantly something like that. This person's so insecure. Somebody has a very insecure partner. They need constant reassurance. Where are you? What are you doing? You said this. You said that. You said you'd be here at this time. You said you would pick these things up. And it's just, oh, it's exhausting. Somebody just covets the other person's time. Yeah. So envious. It's like a, they resent the other person's freedom. I don't know. Show me this page of swords, please. Oh, this fucking sucks. I hate this reading. Show me the page of swords, please. As always, real tarot, real life, and I wouldn't be seeing it if somebody else weren't meant to either. Show me the page of swords, please, is the advice. No, get to the point. Keep your eye open to the full. How so? Be open to its things, you know. Take a chance. You need to, somebody needs to open up their mind. That page of swords, it's much too small. We're looking at things because that's his job is to look and learn because he's immature and he's the only page to his credit who understands that. We need to keep our eye open to opportunities for change. It's, uh, it's a tower that needs to come down. It's a tower that needs to come down. Oh, for God's sake. I gotta do a time check on that, because as far as I can tell, it's hypothetical, but it's not sustaining. It's not a sustaining hypothesis, and I'll tell you why. While the fool can be theoretical for a very long time, the tower not so much. It's impending. The tower can only be propped up for so long. So, by all means, whoever this is speaking to, keep your eye on this situation. But it's eventually going to come down. The idea of a third party or fourth person is fucking irrelevant. Because I know I'm looking at somebody who clearly understands, and I mean fucking clearly understands, that to follow our love with that King of Cups, to follow that Ace of Wands, to take action towards it, would be to enter a third party. They know this. We refrain. We refrain. We refrain. To the point of denial and stubborn insistence. I don't think we've completely blocked this person. I know we haven't. But we don't actively move open towards it either. Um, the other person is either confused about you or can, you're confused about the other person. The idea is, is like... <laughs> I, I, I don't know what they want. I don't know what they're doing, and I don't know why they choose to stay. Somebody else is so utterly envious of the other person's ability to be free and to move around and to make decisions. Um, I don't know who is who in this scenario. The very person you desire might be the one that you resent. The person who desires you might resent you. I don't know. And as glorious as this would feel, it would feel so fucking glorious with that King of Cups to Ace of Wands energy. And it would feel so glorious to just take action towards it. It would also cause pain and somebody doesn't want to do that. The advice is to keep your eyes open for an opportunity for a change because the tower is coming down. It's imminent. Um, the, like I said, the third or fourth person is irrelevant, really. Somebody has a core story here and that core story is not sustaining. That's the cancer I'm speaking to today really doesn't matter how many energies are here. This envy, that insecurity, that emotional insecurity. Do you still love me? Do you still love me? Pay attention to me. I need you to respond. I need you to respond. I need you to respond right now. That shit is choking. We're still pushing it away, though. Some of you, again, you're... There's a core person here who might be a fire sign, Aries Leo Sage. Um... You are here. The other seems to be more water-oriented. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm not sure. Okay, you know who's who. Ace of Wands is the overall renewal. Which it could be. 
the reason we're staying in this, we hope things will get better, or the Ace of Wands we denied from the very beginning. Overall, Ace of Wands, show me the Ace of Wands, please. Actually here three times. I know it's the same person because the one, uh, I'm sorry, this one, I know it's the same fucking person. I know it is. The one that we feel disconnected from, the one that we say we don't want them, we don't want them, we don't want that person, we don't want that person, we don't want that person, yes, we fucking do. They're the ones who are attached to the idea of the third party, the one who represents um, love, mature, capable, capable love. This Queen of Cup in reverse, not good. Emotionally clingy, insecure, jealous, bullshit. Someone who is not that. That's the Ace of Wands is tied to them, who we opened with, the same person who we said is not in our life, and it doesn't matter. Don't think about them. They're not an alternative. They're not an option. Don't think about them. Keep an eye up because it's, it's going to happen. i got to do a time check. Some of the Ace of Wands is the overall. Somebody really envies the other person's body and or freedom. <sighs> Page of Cups, opening the heart space a little bit to this Ace of Wands. Oh, justice again. It would be the fair thing to do, the correct thing to do. What else, please? This is so funny. I feel like this one's taken forever, but comparatively, it's my shortest one yet. <laughs> Okay, the lovers, I'm telling you. There is a much stronger connection here, and you know it. You know it, but it's not at the forefront of the issue here. That that's not the forefront of the issue. I don't care how many people are in here. I don't fucking care. Three minimum are in this reading. Don't care. The one that we are slowly opening our heart space to is the same Ace of Wands, boom, 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 that we've been denying this whole fucking time. What if I had gone this way? Strong connection. And I would say, in the opening on that baseline, why the fuck are we holding on to somebody that causes us this much pain? And I'll tell you why. It is a strong connection, and that's why it stays with you. That's why it fucks with you. And that's why you haven't let it go. It is a stronger connection to than that which you are currently tied to. Someone who is physically, probably, I'm going to go ahead and call it for what it is, is likely physically withholding, emotionally insecure, they need constant check-in, they, 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 they need constant maintenance. Let's put it that way. They need emotional maintenance, okay? Um, like, that's the person, that's the difference between, oh, I can check in with that person once a day versus ten times a day. One is clingy, the other one is... I love you. The one that needs constantly checking in, that's not I love you, that's insecurity. They need constant reassurance, maintenance, 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 over and over again. This person needs maintenance, reassurance, and I insist upon this. There's an envy here of somebody's freedom of movement, that they get to go out more, something like that. I don't know, but this person is not that. Uh, very powerful connection here. It's your overall, it's the one that's been plaguing you since we opened with your reading. That's the one we keep saying, no, no, no. That's the one that's been with you and it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Not with that lover's energy. Wait for that opportunity. The tower's going to come down. It's hypothetical now, but really it's, it's, I'm looking at a countdown. Speaking of which, I will try to do a time check. These are very difficult concepts, Cancer. I understand that. So again, take what resonates, leave what does not. If it's not your story, then don't fucking accept it. You will only make yourself unnecessarily upset. Just because it says cancer in the title doesn't mean it's yours. Collective reading means collective application. All right. People need a lot of reminders on that. Well, that didn't resonate with me at all. Good. Good. It's painful. This is fucking painful. Why I don't do judgment. Your experiences are real. Okay? This is why, man. Alright, show me the tower. Just show me when. Show me when. Can I get a time timing? Just show me timing, please. Timing. Show me timing aspects. The tower. Show me the tower. When does this realization occur? Bringing it down for, for some of you. Four months is simply your answer for... Cups is typically a month. It does not have to be. It's not exclusive. That could be the fourth of any given month. That could be four days, four weeks, four hours, fucking 4 p.m. I don't know. Okay, but it could be upwards to four months. That would land us about December-ish. Okay, 
very strong trues around December and then the full is the marker of zero so that could be when the, the clock resets um, around New Year's okay <sighs> then we also have the tower here which is Scorpio the season of Scorpius for some of you um, that we enter into our October 22nd also the formal Roman numeral of 16 so the 16th might be of some significance to some of you. It could be an anniversary marker as well. Uh, what else, please? What are the time checks for this tower? What are the time checks, please, for this tower? This Hierophant, a uh, formal number of five. So for some of you, that is the season of Taurus, which will be April yes, April 22nd to May 22nd. And for some of you, confirmation that your person is a Taurus or you have Taurus in your chart, uh, in which case do pay attention. For some of you, February. 2022 just again I very just February for some of you uh, what else please any other time markers any other time mark okay six tried to pop out for some of you the process started in June <sighs> Knight of Swords that's when some of you started taking tentative action towards this around June um, there might have been a heated argument for some of you I keep hearing that there was an argument that was critical around June or the summertime I'm not sure. Okay. Anything else, please? But yes, there is a very strong love connection. And I'm telling you, some of you are straight up dealing with Capricorn and then also the season of Capricorn. Everybody's been pulling Capricorn season. So there's some serious shit going on in the transition of New Year, which, again, very common for major things to happen around the New Year. As we transition out of old and into new, a lot of stuff goes down. So between... Yeah, sorry. December 22nd to January 22nd... So for some of you, winter, upwards to February, as far out as May. Um, especially if you have Capricorn in your chart. Okay, very strong connection here, but that's not the star of the show. It's not. It's been with you the whole fucking time, and the cancer I'm speaking to, you already know it. You already know. This, this connection's been here the whole time. It's a huge player, a motivation, yeah. But it's 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 not it's not the it's not the enchilada it's not the main enchilada it's not the whole plate. Okay, it's here for you. Speaking of which, let's do a time check. Show me this lover's energy. Show me a time check, please. Sh okay. Eight. For some of you connected with this person in August. Fuck. You could have connected with them at work. Eight. 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 Possibly next August, but that, that, that doesn't feel right. The stars. 17. No. This was that pathway you turned around years ago. Turned away years ago, possibly. There's distance. There's just so much distance between it. It was a pathway that was turned away a long time ago. The stars. You might have met them at work. For some of you, that's confirmation. September might have been a marker for some of you. Um, you, you turned away from that pathway a long time ago. But there is some communication here. It's just not a lot. To fully engage with it would be to enter a third party, and you know that. Okay. Um, but there is communication here. It's pages. Your connection between you and this powerful connection here, it's all resting on pages. You have major concepts associated and or tied to this person all resting on pages. So I know you two are not active, not interactive, not like that. It's communication. You have a strong beginning with this person. Lover's energy is not going anywhere. Um, and I tell you, it was it was a, a, a truth, a pathway, Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, that was established a long time ago. We did not pursue that particular ace. I'm fucking telling you, man. There is basic communication here. Again, heavy Scorpio energy. Um, again, for some of you, winter is your time marker. Okay, we've got to go. Okay. Cancer, this was complicated. You let me know as you feel fit, of course, as always, share as you feel comfortable. Um, you know, I just, I want you to get into a place of comfort and love and, um, you know, it's, it's complicated and I see that. This isn't going anywhere. Not that I see. But again, like I said, it's not the star of the show either. I want what's best for you. In love and in life. 
So I hope you get to that point where you can address this tower. All right, honey, take care. Be well.